All right, my tripod is doing whatever it does. Uh, here's the behind the scenes. I use a do-rag <laughs> to keep my hair down. I put some gel in it, especially for this part. You see, this is aggressive swoop. It, I didn't actually put it like that. It just kind of mashed like that, and this like kind of just kept it like that. But this is aggressive swoop. I actually like it. I'm gonna keep it. I'm not gonna do anything to it. So this is what I, I use a do-rag when um. It's not like a fresh pixie, like the fresh mold. Well, actually, I do, but I use the wrap and then I put the thing on top because it'll just cover like the rest of my hair as long as I keep it tight. Um, so there's there's my quick hat. <laughs> there's also like other things that you can use. Like I have a satin scarf, but I feel like it doesn't. I feel like I can't manage it as much because there's too many layers. You have to fold it and all that. So like this, the do rag does. Anyway, I just did my makeup. I did a little reel on my makeup because I've been trying to post more often. I'm trying to trying to get them Instagrams up and popping. I have been in love with these lashes. I want to get more. I got these from the dollar store. I got these from the dollar store and I fucking love them. I love them so much. Only thing is like uh, you have to, okay, you don't have to, but it's it will, be, it will behoove you to take something and go over the band because the band is clear so it'll reflect like if you're me colored you can like if i look down you can kind of see it so what i had did is i got this glue that they sell at the dollar store which does not work whatsoever but well you know what it does it changes the color of your band because it's black and it has like a little stick you just rub it on the band it doesn't make it stick to anything at least I haven't gotten it to stick to anything. It's like the LA Girl Pro one. These lashes are also LA Girl Pro. Um, it'll color your band nicely. And then you can use regular glue that actually works and that works nicely. Uh, what I've been using for glue, it's actually the Kiss one for like semi-permanent lashes or whatever. Just because I feel like it sticks faster and I'm very impatient. And I am patient at the end of the day when I use my... Um, cleansing balm to get it off because I don't want to lose any more lashes because um, I had a whole thing where I used to use that glue and try to give myself like little the little cluster lashes and I was just bad at it and it also it wouldn't stay so it, yeah and it just like pulled the shit out of my lashes because like if you have like one random cluster lash then you look crazy you look weird you look like you have lids in your eye but something's a little wrong so yeah so I'm trying not to do that craziness. I'm just gonna keep these on for as long as they wanna stay on, honestly. Um, like tomorrow, if I wash my face and my lashes stay on, I'm just going to wake up in the morning, put some eyeliner on, some brows, and then be good. Maybe some concealer if I'm feeling cute. I don't think I'm going anywhere tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, not wearing these work though. They just gotta fall off before then. <laughs> so uh, today we're going to the grocery store. They want me to cook tonight. I hate cooking, I really do. Let's normalize hating cooking. No, let's not normalize that. People should learn to cook and to do well. Or you should learn to cook. You don't have to like it. I mean, it's survival. Um, so I'm thinking of making curry because it takes less long. But it does take a lot more upfront effort. Like, I have to cut everything up and then I have to add it strategically to the pot. Like, cook the chicken and then take the chicken out. And then stir fry the vegetables in the pot a little bit. Get them nice kind of warmed. I don't know what it really does. I don't feel like it does too much. And then you add the chicken back in and then you boil it and then you add the curry in and then yeah. So it's like more upfront work whereas the other like option was me to make general so it's chicken um, is more work on the back end because after I've cut and battered everything now I just gotta wait for it to fry and I'm just sitting here making batches and batches because you don't want to overcrowd the pan because then it won't um, cook thoroughly. And last thing we need is some salmonella up in this food. We don't need that, okay? So uh, I also want to see if I can coerce my husband into getting some nice pictures of me by the produce section. I've been on Pinterest getting um, Instagram, uh, what do you call it, inspiration. And I'm tired of the girl who's just sitting over there just, ah, oh, look at this produce. I'm gonna get some kale. You know that type of picture? I want that type of picture on my feed, on my Instagram right now. Right, maybe tomorrow, because I've already, I, honestly, I've been, like, in the past, I procrastinate, like, five weeks to putting up things, because I'm usually too busy to even edit the pictures. 
And when I say edit, I mean like there's a dot on the wall that I don't like. I'm just going to get rid of that real quick. Or I have an acne that is a little too aggressive. I'm going to kill it and it's going to be gone. Or like stuff like that. I usually don't do anything crazy. Maybe if my skin is like really porous in the picture for some reason and like not in, in like the lighting is extremely harsh. I might blur a little bit. I'm going to be honest. Not perfect. Um, as you can see from my unfiltered uh, videos, I have some pores. I'm not usually mad. I'm only mad if my skin gets super dry for some reason. Like when we're out, like it's cold as hell outside. I'm in Colorado, so we have winter. We don't have LA winter. We have, it's cold and it's snow right now for no reason. And it was hot yesterday. So it's like crackhead winter, crackhead weather all the time. So this is a five minute long clip, I'm sorry. Anyway, I think the makeup looks really nice. I get inspired. I, like, I, I try to make my Pinterest something that I can look at and be inspired by. So I had to start liking and saving. Because if you like it, it really doesn't do anything. But if you save it to, like, your pins, Pinterest will give you more of it. So I had to start pinning more people who look like me. Brown people and people with short hair. Because, one, I need... What is the word? Inspiration on actually doing something. I cut my hair so I didn't have to do too much. But what I can do is like style it really cute the first day and then it usually stays cute for a while until I have to wash it again. So that's why I love this hairstyle, but also inspiration to do more interesting things. Uh, this is a combination of inspirations, to be honest, because um, it's like I'm going to curl my hair today, re-relax it after we get back. And um, yeah. This is a long little clip, I'm so sorry. inside my house my coffee aside let me show you what I got juice I prefer mods I feel like the flavor is the most clean not you baby got two of them oh no he's on the, he's in the party it throws me off oh I read a notification on my phone I was so confused a pack of wipes we needed the pack we're still waiting for our Amazon thingy to come through because we have it all monthly, but we ran out. Cause, well, not monthly, but like every few months because we don't need it like monthly because it's a big old thing that we get. The wipes. So we got russet potatoes because I'm making curry tonight. And then we have red potatoes because meal prep. We'll probably use both russet and red for meal prep just because we can't, we're not going to just only use the russet for curry because we're not going to have curry that often. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cheese. Yeah. Just some slice. Craft. Deluxe. I don't really. Yeah. This is what we get. It's the one we like. Very basic with sandwiches. I got whole wheat bread. Sara Lee. That's just been the brand that we get now. For some reason. The whole wheat one. Healthy. More fiber, I think, maybe. It's got fiber in there. It's good. You know. Got two of those. Yeah. And then into the fruits. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, I got some nanners in here. I get them when they're kind of green because that's the only way my husband will eat them. He doesn't like them when they get any riper than green, which is weird. Um, uh, yeah. When they just turn yeah. yellow? Yeah. Okay. He, he likes them raw anyway. <laughs> Grapes, because I thought they would have, I realized that cherries are out of season. I wanted to get cherries, but they didn't have any, so I got grapes. I didn't get too many, because if we, will forget we have them, and then they'll go back. And then that, that's really annoying. Um, so they I didn't have carrots, the long carrots there. They only have the little ones. Also, we have long carrots. I was just deciding whether I wanted to use them, since, like, they last a while, but, like, I also feel weird when I have... I also feel weird when I have like fruits and veg that last a while because it's like, is it really still good? Uh, it's concerning. It's a little sus. 
bra, no. unripe, crunchy, <laughs> fresh seeds. <laughs> So we got we got uh, baby carrots. I got them honestly for snacking, but like, because we still have some carrots. I'm sure they're fine. I made sure that they were fine before I left. And last but not least, because honestly, I love these. And these are huge ones too. Big old shrubs. Look at these. Yes. Because I need to snack healthier. I've been eating cereal as a snack um, at work because we have a lot of cereal and I need to get rid of it by eating it. The kids will eat it if I let them, but like they like the colorful stuff and they always end up getting the colorful stuff anyway. So I'm like, if you're gonna have, if we have it and you want it, I'm gonna just give it to you. Um, so that's all we got. And I didn't get my picture because it was too many people and my husband was like running away. So yeah. Hi, my ID is in this pocket, so I'm covering it. That's why I'm holding this weird. Anyway, I'm about to change my clothes and wipe off my makeup so that I can start cleaning the, the foyer is what I call it. My husband calls it the den because I don't know. And um, I'm going to go clean that up because it's just full of mail and there's like Christmas stuff in there still. And I got to figure out how to dispose of the tree. Not dispose of, but like pack it up for next year. And... Um, just get rid of the just mail that's just everywhere. Like, put things in closets and stuff. Um, but first, I'm going to uh, make myself more comfortable. And wipe off my makeup, because I will probably be doing um, relaxing my hair in, in the next few whatevers. <laughs> Excuse me. chicken is cooking thoroughly or cooking through you know all the way through um and i'm gonna check this uh i don't last vlog i did have a milk tea version and now a matcha version i've never actually had matcha as a drink i've only had matcha like as a flavoring for something else so i'm interested in this it's also got boba in it and i'm more interested in the matcha than i am the boba the boba's pretty good it just comes with a lot of boba which is good if you really like boba if you really don't care too much about the boba like me but i do like boba i just it doesn't need to be the focal point of the drink um if you don't care too much about the boba i don't know it's a free drink free i don't know five dollars for the for a kit that can make you about three servings so it's i don't know i'm gonna try it should be the same as making the other one, so I won't go through it. Here are the instructions. Very simple, very simple. We're going to try that. One thing is, ooh, I'm shaking the hell out of me. My boba cup can't be microwaved. It's really not supposed to be used for hot drinks at all. So I'm going to not use it until the end. So I'm going to have to use it in a different cup, which is annoying. But that's just because of the cup I have. It's not meant for, like, all those temperatures. It's not, like, a regular cup, I guess. <laughs> It's cute though, so it, it's fine.
Okay. Finally made it. Took a little long for the water to boil. Don't think you even need to boil it. It just needs to be boiling, I guess. I don't know. It's good. I feel like the boba also sweetens it. But I tasted it when I was stirring it. You stir the powder in with the water first. Pretty good. Okay, he, my husband plated it, Sunny. Sunny plated it, and he used a little thingy to mold the rice and then put the curry on top, all decoratively. Hello guys, so it's after dinner. I'm trying to figure out, okay, depending on what happened. Depends on what I'm gonna do. I'm plan I'm probably gonna plan on doing all this. So I'm getting my perm out. I'm just gonna prepare to, to do it today or uh, tonight because it is like let me see what time it is. Like 8 40, 24, excuse me. It's late. Um which is good because after I relax my hair I will immediately style it and then wrap it up to go to bed anyway and then let it dry overnight that's how i usually style my pixies it's going to be ni nice and fresh because it's going to have a nice fresh relaxer make sure i get the roots real good because you can see here my roots are fluffy and i didn't perm it really good last time and i think the perm that i had before was like a um what do you call it a normal and that doesn't work because i have a very coarse hair texture like it's 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 kinky curly not like Kinky coily, excuse me, not kinky, like curly or anything like that. So I'm just preparing everything, because basically, um, permit, go downstairs, clean the foyer out a little bit more, like sort through the mail, depending on whether or not he has friends online to play multiplayer for Monster Hunter Rise. I want to do some playing on that, get that on my Moso channel. There's a lot of things I want to do for my Moso channel. Just don't got time. And also, like, when there's, like, peaceful times enough for me to play games, usually that's when my daughter's snapping. Guess what she's napping? In the room with my Xbox where I would record. So I have to get her adjusted to sleeping in the room with her in her sister's room, her in her sister's room, because they're supposed to share a room, basically, as they get older. But, you know, it's, it's hard. I don't know. Bye-bye. I'm going to be right back. Or, bye. I don't know. I think it looks so much better. The cat has already messed up her area a little bit. I wiped down, like, let me just turn you around. So I wiped down the couch. This is microfiber, so it just sucks. Um, I think it's microfiber, I don't know. I tried to get the stains out there. You see there's a cat print because she doesn't care about me cleaning things. Honestly, it's not fully dry, so hopefully it dries better. I don't know what even spilled right there, but I tried to get it out. But I really couldn't see once everything was damp. So every, the floor's clean, except for shit that just fell off of this that I cleaned off. Um, oh, this came from when I was wiping it down. And then there's a piece of rice, because apparently a piece of rice was on my shoe. And, and that's from disinfectant spray and me spraying like the, to wipe this down. It's still a little dusty, but I'm not trying to go for perfection here. See, the cat has already started eating her food. I don't know why she decided to eat it. 
from her body being this way and pushing it off the fruit off the wall for some reason. So I'm gonna move it this way. Try and pre preserve the safety, safety, the cleanliness of it. Okay. And I haven't showed you guys what I was working off of, but basically I have like a little itinerary of what I'm gonna do today or a schedule. Schedule is a much better word or agenda. And now it's in my skincare time or self care time, which I've run into by 45 minutes because I didn't want to leave this unfinished and now it's so much more finished and I can like come in here and work out whatever. It's nice and clean. It smells nice. I have my diffuser in here. I just got to put some diffusion in here and it smells nice, but I don't want to do that while the food the cat's eating because um, diffusers are not really good for cats. But um, I have to figure out where we're going to put her food at because we do want to move it around. Okay, I've changed the poopy diaper. And I'm ready to start everything, so it's just gonna be like a montage B-roll type situation for the self-care. I'm not really trying to record anything. I'm gonna watch some videos on my phone as well. to do my hair now and this is the perm I'm using super because my hair is coarse as hell and um, yeah let's get started well you I won't film it because it's gonna be annoying if I do and I'm still watching videos so yeah <laughs> So that's not possible. Anyway, I did my nails. So there's a distinct difference in technique, okay? So the ones that look super smooth and pristine are the ones I did with the poly gel. Um, not poly tip, the tips. What do you call it where the... You put the thing on top of the gel and it smooths it out and then you cure it with the tip on it and then you take the tip off. That method... For these, I really like how these turned out. I think it's because the gel is good. This one is because I actually use like nail, what the fuck? The lotion, I just put lotion on. Um, nail tips on and then put the poly gel on top as though it is acrylic or like regular gel. Um, I like that method except for the top is usually not the smoothest as you can tell in comparison. It's a little wibbly wobbly and I do not have the patience to smooth it out apparently. I swear I try but this this looks so much cleaner and I think the gel that I'm using now because I'm using the gel the McCart gel uh because this is the perfect color for me this is a perfect nude uh ignore the spillage over here that I kind of needed because the tip wasn't wide enough to get the sides of my nail to be honest um anyway I think the McCart gel is just better for doing the poly gel tip I don't know what it's called. I'm just going to call it the poly gel tip method. Um, so I think that's why it turned out better. Because usually it was just like they would squish too easily. Or like it'll come out the sides. Or maybe it's practice. I don't know. Anyway, I might show you tomorrow the aftermath of my hair. <laughs> and then that'll be the end of the vlog. Because I have my hair wrapped up. And I have sideburns today because my hair is actually slick and smooth and silky that I can actually have sideburns and they're not, not like exploding all over the place. So I did my normal um, hair routine, but like now that it's like, like perm perm, like fresh, ooh, you about to be straight as hell type perm. Yeah, it's staying because like usually like if I did this and then it would just start floating up a little bit because my hair wasn't actually like as silky as it needed to be for the style I want. So I'm really excited. Only thing is I remember I didn't put any heat protectant in, which is really annoying. Um, but that's fine because um, it's fine. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'll see you later. I'm going to clean. Ooh do Sonny's hair, retwist his braids, 
excuse me, dreads, um, and then uh, have the rest of the night, which may be a B-roll or whatever. So, yeah. Sorry for the terrible variety of angles uh, in the bathroom with the new rag on, looking like a whole 14-year-old boy. Um, but, yeah. And uh, this nail, this hand had less uh, poly gels because I lost these two and then I lost these three. Um, so I had to redo them. And it's because my I had to buy more nail glue. It was, it was from the dollar store, so it was not good quality. So the whole nail popped off. If I tried to glue it back on, so like, I'm like, okay, well, I'll glue it back on and I'll just like fix it tomorrow. No, it popped off before I even left for work the next day, which was maybe 10 minutes later. So I was really like, 